<laughs> you already know what the deal is. You're back with your boy, your favorite guy, your bearded, and I mean also oh very bearded prince. Off on the desk. You feel me, Zan? First and foremost, keep God first, and God, I always appreciate you. Hey, next, shout out Beer Mob, and I'm telling y'all boys, it's really only the mob. And if you're new, like, comment, subscribe. You know who the whole deal is. And for those that always show love and support, bro, we appreciate y'all. You feel what I'm saying? Now let's get into the video. Um, I know some of y'all were probably questioning, hey, Mark wanted, why would you post a video about why you should not have dreads? Now, again, you guys have to be understanding of who the audience is as far as being out there. You know what I'm saying? Now, there are those that are, from their perspective, they're possibly, you know, hesitant questioning on the side of the fence if they should commit to you know having locks or should they you know remain to having a fro whatever their sort of hairstyle that they got and that's understandable i gotta be able to provide that sense of information in order to help them make that decision you feel what i'm saying now moving on forward i didn't forget about y'all for those that already have locks or making that big transition you know to getting locks Hey, your boy is currently in it. And for those that don't know, I'm 10 months in. You feel what I'm saying? And so far, I've been embracing and loving the journey. You know what I'm saying? But I do got tips on why you should have locks. And they don't get any better over here. You feel me? It don't get any better as far as information unless you are here. You feel what I'm saying? So, I, I know I haven't been in the lock game for that long, but I just feel like a vet. I really do. I just feel like a vet, dog. You feel what I'm saying? So, these are my tips and reasons, mainly my reasons on why you should get locks. First and foremost, when I was making this transition, right? Mind you, I had a fro. I had a fro. I did the braids. I did the twists. I did the cornrows. I was versatile. I was Mr. Versatility. You know what I'm saying? But as I made that transition and made that full commitment, I understood that having dreadlocks is universal. And what I mean by universal, majority of people have it. You know what I'm saying? Now, I didn't get it just because of others, but the fact that, you know what I'm saying, I decided to make that transition and shake up the game. You feel me? I have my own set of locks, and I just embrace the culture in itself. Having locks is just completely something different. Only people with locks would understand. Like, if you're bald, you wouldn't understand, but people with locks understand. There's a beauty to it, to having locks. It's just definitely unique in a sense. You know what I'm saying? Now, uniqueness in a sense of as far as the overall process for me i'm currently at 10 months and for those again that don't know i started off with two strand twists now for some of my locks you guys could kind of see the pattern and as it matured you don't really quite see the pattern anymore you know what i'm saying but within within making that transition it did take some time it did take some time it took a lot of bit of patience and just embracing who i was where I was, you know what I'm saying? I did take a lot of photos and I did take a lot of take a lot of videos as well. Now there was a period where I was like, ah, I don't know how long I could do this. I was actually questioning myself because I was discouraged at some points because I would grow out my hair and it just remained short when I finally lock up. But it, 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 everything is always a process. You feel what I'm saying? Now that I'm at this current length, obviously I would want to be longer. Right now I'm more comfortable. You feel me? I could your boy could you know, shake the, shake the, shake the, you feel his hand? Like, it's just, you really got to be patient and understand the fact that, hey, the end term goal is, my locks are going to drop. And when they do, it's wraps. That's literally what I said. When my locks drop, I just know it's wraps for y'all. It really is. You feel me? Y'all made a, y'all made a mistake letting me into the drag lock game. Y'all really did. And if I blame y'all, it's really y'all fault. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, but we continue to do our thing. My next thing is, is that having dreads i know a lot of i know i've said earlier that for me in particularly listen i've had a lot of different hairstyles i had the wigs i had the low caesar i had the flat top mohawk you know what i'm saying i had the fro i i had it i had it all for me i felt like just because of who i am i made the haircut like i just made the haircut made the hair like i was just that swaggy now some of y'all might not have the luxury to do that but, but listen, that's okay because dreadlocks not only is universal, but it enhances your looks. Now, what I mean by looks, the sense of maturity. So let's say you're a baby face sort of dude. There's nothing wrong with having a baby face, but when you have locks, it just makes you appear more mature. 
You know what I'm saying? Now, if you really have like a baby, baby, baby face, coolest, I don't know what to do for you. I got no advice for that. But it enhances the looks as far as, let's say you don't have facial hair. Now, for those that just have, you know, a little mustache or a goatee, which there's nothing wrong with that. When you have the fox coolest, the mustache goatee combo, bro, it's a wrap. And then your, your dress drop? Coolest. Coolest. Cool. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's wraps, bro. So that's what I mean by it enhances the looks. As far as, let's say, again, you don't have a, you know, you don't have much facial hair to make you, you know, appear more mature and, you know what I'm saying? More of like a, like a, uh, you know what I'm saying? When you have locks, bro, that lock mustache goatee combo? Or that lock mustache combo? Or that just locks combo? Smooth baby face? Dude, it's, and then it drop. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's wraps. I'm telling y'all, boys. It is wraps. You know what I'm saying? So, not only that's universal, and it helps enhance the looks. Now, I can't, you know, disclaimer. I can't promise all the shorts are going to like it. I can't, listen. Family, you cannot put, you cannot quote me on this. I can't 100% assure you that all the shorts are going to like it. Some shorties like, you feel me? They like the smooth waves, you know what I'm saying? But there are shorties that like, you feel what I'm saying? They like the, shake the dress. They like the dress heads, you know what I'm saying? So it helps enhance the looks. Now, I know some of y'all might disagree with this, what I'm about to say. And personally, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Not only that having dreadlocks is a commitment, but understand when you do, if you are creative, if you got that, listen, if you got that it factor, that inner source, that inner source, you know what I'm saying? You can have a good sense of versatility when it comes to the locks. Now, I know when someone says, oh, you, oh, you have dreads and that's all you got. Bro, I could, bro, I could put one pony. Dude, I could put the two ponies. Bro, I, once my hair gets longer, the ponytail. Once my hair gets longer, the... The pineapple was like, bro, there's a good sense of versatility. And not only that, you could even be versatile in the haircut in itself. I have a homeboy that has flat top dreads, period. And he put his hair up and then he gets a nice smooth, you feel me, bald skin fade on the sides, okay? With his little French mustache. Like, I'm telling you, y'all boys don't understand, kid. There's, there's, there's a, every bit of swag when it comes to having locks. You know what I'm saying? Now there's the Mohawk brothers that have the Mohawks and they got the dreads just dropping. You feel what I'm saying? They got the locks just dropping. And some people rock it. Look at Kai Sinat. You feel what I'm saying? Look at Polo G. These are guys that have the Mohawk locks, bro. And it's swaggy. So for those that tell you that like, oh, you just got dreads and that's about it. No, bro. Like I got the, I'm telling you, if you have the creativity in the sauce you got listen you got to have the sauce dog you gotta have that little that look i know my chest is small but you gotta have that it factor cause you gotta have that it factor you feel what i'm saying you'll be able to have a, 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 a versatility as far as what appearance wise you look and how you wear your hair now don't get me wrong ladies are very very good in that department you know what i'm saying but fellas if you just get deep in your bag, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like just deep in your bag, bro, you could pull off some nice stuff, dog. You know what I'm saying? So don't ever be discouraged or don't ever be um set on the fact that, oh, once I got locks, like that's all I got. Like, no, bro. <laughs> no, if you expand your range and figure the way, figure out the ways that you could make make your locks appear nice in just different variations oh bro you're just deep in your bag you know what i'm saying you're just deep in your bag now it just depends on you it, it depends on what size of locks you want how many you know what i'm saying currently on my head top i got 70 so i got more of like a i don't want to say a full look but i feel like personally i got more volume just because of how thick my locks are. And I'm okay with 70. That's something that I honestly wanted. I felt like if I wanted my hair to be thicker, like my locks in general to be thicker, I had to get less. You know what I'm saying? So, and there's nothing wrong with those that have a lot. There's nothing wrong with those that have 100 plus locks. You know what I'm saying? It's all up to you on how you want to rock it, how you want to style it. Now for me, I got the dreadlock and beard combo. 
Like, it's just, it just really hit different. Like, at the end of the day, it's me. Not it's me, it's me. You know what I'm saying? That's how swaggy I feel. Bro, get the locks. Stop playing around. Stop getting these two strand twists and acting like you have dreadlocks. Just get the locks, bro. Just go ahead, commit. Hey, sell your, no, I'm playing. <laughs> I'm not gonna say sell your, no, I'm playing, I'm playing. But get the locks, bro. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's just about my point. <laughs>